Bike touring is the best way to travel. You get to experience the places most people who drive or travel by bus or train don't often see. Things like the quiet country roads, woodsy gravel paths, and rural village life. You get the sense of accomplishment of having traveled hundreds of miles just by pedaling your bike. Many people associate bike touring with quitting your job and traveling across the planet, but not every trip needs to be this grandiose. Sometimes you just have a week or two and you want to explore a new place by bike. This video is about why credit card touring, or bike touring without camping, is my preferred option for this type of trip. I'll talk about the different ways people travel by bike, the pros and cons of each style, and get into why I prefer credit card touring. If you've never considered it, hopefully this video will encourage you to try it, and the good news is if you have a bike, you probably already have everything you need to start now. When it comes to multi-day bike trips, there are three main forms to consider. As you'll see, they're not mutually exclusive, but more like an overview of the different ways you can do it. The first is traditional bike touring with panniers. Here's an example of one of my bikes. As you can see, I packed most of everything onto the back, but a lot of times people will use front panniers and maybe even a handlebar bag. This style of touring requires you to carry a sleeping system, either a tent with a sleeping bag and sleeping pad, or a hammock with a rain fly, or maybe even a bivy. You're also likely to be cooking most of your meals and carrying cookware and a substantial amount of groceries. You're entirely self-sufficient, and this is a great way to travel when you're going for longer trips. The second style is what people refer to as bikepacking. Bikepacking differs from traditional bike touring, mainly in the way that things are packed. Bikepackers prefer unpaved roads and try to keep their gear higher and more in line with the bike frame to avoid snagging on rocks and other trail features. Bikepacking usually still involves camping and cooking, but lighter and more streamlined gear is preferred due to the reliance on smaller bags. Credit card touring has less to do with how you pack, and more with what you pack and how you'll be spending your nights. In this style of touring, you'll be skipping the sleeping system and cooking gear in favor of buying food and lodging as you go. When I use this method, I'm usually carrying some clothes, rain gear, bike tools, but the packing weight and volume tends to be tiny. I usually plan my route around medium-sized towns and have hotels and restaurants to stop at every night. Here's my pack for my trip to Albania. You can see I'm still using panniers, but I don't have a sleeping system and my bags are generally a lot more empty. I've also used these bike packing type bags on a trip too. Let's briefly talk about the pros and cons of each style. So for traditional touring, the first pro is you can carry anything. If you love to carry a camp chair, a tripod, a bunch of bananas, or maybe three, uh, this is the way to go. Your bags have huge capacity and you can basically take a lot of the conveniences that you would otherwise need to leave behind. Uh, second, you're self-sufficient. Um, as I mentioned before, you can camp anywhere. You can have a long day or a short day. Um, it's a very versatile way to travel. Thirdly, uh, your weight is situated lower on your bike. This helps with stability when you're carrying a lot of weight and especially when you're going downhill. Lastly, your trips will cost a lot less. Once you have all your gear, you don't have to spend as much money on hotel stays and expensive meals. On the flip side, you will have a heavy, decidedly non-aero bike. This means you will be moving a little bit slower but also your bike will be really difficult to maneuver if you have to get on a train or a ferry or just lift it over something. Since you'll mostly be camping, you won't have as much access to utilities. It'll be a little bit more complicated to charge your electronics and also you won't have access to showers and things like that. Lastly, it's quite expensive to get started. Besides the cost of a sturdy bike, you'll need to buy your panniers, your camping gear, cooking gear, and everything else that you'll need for a trip like this. On the bike packing side, you'll have a much lighter packing weight. This is mostly because of necessity, you can't have super giant bags like you can with traditional touring. You'll also be more capable off-road. You can ride gravel, single track, and not really worry about snagging on things. You also won't have to worry about rack bolts rattling loose. As with traditional touring, you will have lower cost trips once you get all your equipment set up. One of the main trade-offs is you'll have very hard to pack bags. Unlike panniers, it's a lot trickier to remove the bags off the bike. They also have lower capacity and it's difficult to fit certain items. Each of my two rear panniers fits about 20 liters. Most bike packing bags are less than 15. Lastly, it's also expensive to get started because you'll still need a lot of the camping gear, cooking gear, and a lot of the bags can be very expensive as well. One of the pros of credit card touring is you can ride almost any bike. You'll have to decide if you're going to be doing a lot of off-roading and choose appropriately, but you can ride almost anything you have. Credit card touring doesn't require as much specialized gear. You don't need specific bags and you don't need to carry cooking or camping gear with you either. 
This is going to be the lightest setup of the three. You'll be moving a little bit faster, but also if you needed to get on a taxi or a train or something, it wouldn't be super complicated. Credit card touring is super easy to get started. You don't need to know anything about camp cooking or camping in general. You don't have to buy a whole bunch of gear and test it out. You just need to be able to comfortably ride your bike for long distances, and you can probably already do that. Also, because you're not camping, you have more time to sightsee. You don't have to set up your tent. You don't have to cook your meals. Once you arrive at your destination, your day is basically done. Credit card touring does require a lot more planning. You have to make sure wherever you end up has a place to stay and food and all of the other things that you'll need since you're not self-sufficient at all. It's also a lot more expensive to travel since you'll be paying for hotels or Airbnbs and food everywhere you go. So why do I prefer credit card touring? First and foremost, I believe I get the full benefit of traveling by bike. I spend most of my days outside getting exercise, breathing fresh air, and taking pictures. I still have plenty of freedom over my route, even though I need to make it into a town at the end of every ride. I've traveled through the Czech Republic, Albania, and Mexico, among other places using this method. In all the places I've been, the longest distance to the next location with accommodations was 8 to 10 miles. I can spend most of my day riding in remote and rural areas the same way someone doing traditional touring would, without any real fear of having no place to stay. I also enjoy spending my nights in towns and cities when I travel. It gives me more opportunities to meet and chat with locals. I get to sample more of the local cooking and enjoy some of the nightlife. I get a hot shower every night, or at least a cold shower, depending on the hotel, and my electronics are charged every morning when I wake up. There's a lot more planning involved and I spend considerably more money, but to me it's worth it when I'm only going away for shorter trips. I would still recommend traditional touring or bikepacking for trips to remote areas where you need to be more self-sufficient, and also for longer trips where the cost of lodging would really add up. But for me, short trips to fairly developed areas are perfect for credit card tours. Let me know what you think in the comments, and thanks for watching.